Hello, welcome to the Fit to Survive channel. Today we're going to go through my car bag, kind of see what I have in here, kind of explain what I carry and what I, I plan to use it for. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. So the first thing up top you can see, of course, we're a pair of gloves. Leather gloves come in handy, depending on what you're working on. Rubber gloves with the, with the virus outbreak that's recently going on. Everybody knows what these are for. And naturally, goes right along handy with it. It's a simple little mask, cheap. A small little compressed towel, you just add some water and it becomes a, a moist towel. And actually, they come in quite handy several times too. All right, starting from the left, some paracord, 550 cord. This is from Titan. It actually has copper in it. Um, it has a uh, fishing line in it, some flint to, to start a fire. It's actually really good, and it doesn't take up much space. Probably got about five feet right there. Pin, of course, naturally. Has natural uses, but this is actually also a, a tactical pin. The tip is carbide, tungsten carbide. It's used for breaking a window in case... You can't get out of your vehicle, you need to break a window. Super glue. Believe it or not, this is one of the most used items in my kit. One thing I usually am opening it up for is to get to the super glue. Fixing broken nails, like fingernails, or you know, all kinds of purposes, I really recommend carrying super glue. Some WD 40. Everybody knows what WD-40 is for, but this is convenient in that it's just, it's a pin. So you soak the tip, it soaks, and you use it just like you would WD-40, be it for lubricating or getting rid of rust. It's a match. This is from UCO. I've lit this before. This thing burns for a long time. If it's wet, if it's not wet, this entire orange part just burns down like a firecracker. It just... Just keeps burning down. If you need to start a fire, if it's wet, whatever else, this is the match to have. And of course, what's a, what's the point of a match without the striker for it? This is the Buck Tops. The toughest folding knife I have ever seen. It's got some thick metal, it's got a thick handle. This thing is not going to break. It's the closest thing to a to a, a full size knife, not a folding knife. It's a really good knife. I like the handle on it. It's got a nice good grip to it. Hey, Listerine. We all know what that's for. Some Gorilla Tape, this is kind of my own invention, to get a chopstick, cut it off and wrap some tape around it. There you go, you can make a small little roll of tape, however much you want to roll on there. Next, the Night Cords, the LA-10. This is a very advantageous flashlight because it also works as a lantern. And it also has a beacon. And the tail end of it is magnetic. So you can attach this to the back of your car. Let's say if you're, you're broken down, whatever. And you have this little beacon that's flashing. Sharpie. You know, another thing that's always should carry is a marker. It can come in handy be good to use. This is a USB to uh, USB, USB-C. It, it's what my phone takes. This is a nail file. Yes, this is hero material. Whenever the missus breaks her fingernail and you have one of these, you are the hero. Extra points. Can opener. It's dumb to have a bunch of canned food if you can't get it open. 
This thing's unique. It's very small, very compact, but at the same time, it's very efficient, very convenient for opening canned food. Gorilla USB drive. It's almost all worn off already. Can't really see it. I carry important files on there. Copy of my passport, other important documents. Any kind of documents that I want to be able to have on my person, available, close by at any time. Plus, if I need to copy more things onto the flash drive, it's available. A whistle. I've actually been laughed at before for carrying a whistle. I was asked, what, is it a rape whistle? Uh, no. Actually, a whistle is very important. A good thing to have as a survival gear. You can use it for getting attention, being noticed. If, let's say, you're lost. Hey, this thing's pretty loud. You can be heard. You can be found. So it's, it's advantageous to carry. This is a Kershaw spork. Well, I don't know if you call it a spork or not, but it's a, a camping utensil. Another advantageous thing to have that I've used several times. It's small. It's really compact. It takes some getting used to as far as for eating because it doesn't necessarily fit completely in your hand. The spoon part's not as bad, but the fork can be a bit rough to use holding on to the, the spoon part. Another thing that is, is just part of, I don't know, being civilized, you enjoy having your teeth clean. And so this is another thing that <laughs> I recommend carrying if you're going to do a kit like this. This is also a Kershaw, if I remember correctly. It works as a small little uh, nail puller, um, pry bar, cutting edge, another bottle opener, which bottle openers are one of the things that kind of aggravate me. I don't need a bottle opener on every tool. <laughs> Anyways, this has a couple other little multi-tools to it, being, you know, you have the little, um, the sockets right there, and I say sockets before, the bolts. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a screwdriver. So. This is an amazing little saw. It's just a little chain. It rolls up, unrolls. You can put your fingers through these loops and pull to cut wood. Or you can also put a stick through it and use it that way, kind of like a bow saw. And that's actually a really much more convenient way of, of cutting with it. I've cut through a three inch uh, log that was dry. It literally took just a, a few minutes to cut through it. This is a very compact and convenient tool to have. More hero, hero material here, bobby pin. Whenever the missus needs one of these and you have them, you always get extra points for that. It's a small little fingernail clipper from True Utility. It's another thing whenever you really need to get that fingernail clipped and you have a fingernail clipper with you close by, it's come in handy several times. Definitely enjoyed having it close by. This is goo gel, energy gel. This is always nice whenever you're feeling really exhausted and you need just that little bit of extra caffeine. But also it's nice it has some amino acids in it, some sodium, and help with dehydration, help you feel a little better after you know, running, jogging, working out, whatever it is. This is actually the only medical item I have added here. It's wound seal, adding it for basically just worst case scenario. If you get a bad cut, you can add this. It makes it scab up immediately. A paper clip, it's probably 101 uses for a paper clip. All right, this is some ear protection. Another, it's a thing, you know, it has its obvious uses and some not so obvious uses. Um, being, you know, if you go out gun shooting, hey, you have an extra pair in your bag um, in case you forgot yours at home. If you're listening to something or if, you know, something's loud, you know, it has its obvious uses. This is the Swiss Safe Emergency Blanket. I've used these a couple times. They've come in... Come in handy, they've been nice. They do warm you up, they're really thin, easy to pack. Some insect repellent wipes. Another thing, I've never actually used them. 
but I can see them being really handy if you're out and about and insects are out bad, mosquitoes are biting. This is the Right and Rain pad. It's another thing that I keep in all my bags simply because having paper and a pen, marker, there's so many, it's unlimited uses. I mean, if you need it, it, it burns, right? I mean, if you need to start a fire, you don't have any kindling, you got paper. If you need to write down a note, you got paper. Um, being the right in the rain, it's, it's waterproof completely, and so if it gets wet, the water just beads up and rolls right off. Another great thing I recommend everybody carrying. This is soap. It's just a little sheet of soap. In case you don't have any soap close by, it's also a very convenient thing to carry. This is the Pro Knot Knot Instructions. It goes very handy with the 550 cord. Whenever I'm bored, sitting around, have that to do, it's always good to practice practice with your, your knots. You got the 550 cord close by, unravel that, and practice. So it's been a nice thing to have. Tin foil. Again, the uses for tin foil are just unlimited. You know, if it be for signaling, if you use it for keeping something warm, or there's really so many reasons to carry tin foil. This is a Fresno lens. That means it is a magnifying glass, but it is flat. And it works very well for starting a fire. If you've ever done that before, maybe when you were little, playing with the magnifying glass and burning, this is a good way. If you don't have a way to start a fire, this is a good, good way to do that. And again, it's completely compact, which when making a kit like this, size is everything. It's all about being able to have a nice small equipment that you can use. So that, naturally this is, this is a power bank. And it's another thing that we all use our cell phones and being able to charge them back up is important. You know, being it for making an emergency phone call or whatever reason, carry a small little USB um, to USB uh, micro, micro USB with that. And again, here I have the USB to type, uh, USB type C. And so you charge, charge my phone, anything else. So basically that's, that's why I'm carrying this bag. It's the van quest. So that's all.